problem is to write a Python program to transpose a matrix. Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. My name is Ayushi Jain and in this video we will learn how to write a program that will allow us to transpose a matrix. So guys, to understand what is transpose a matrix, first of all, let's understand what are matrices. So guys, matrices, you might have all heard the word matrices in your 12th grade. If you have not heard, I'll tell you what are matrices. Matrices are a system in which all the numbers are arranged in the format of rows and columns. Now talking about transpose of a matrix, let's understand what is transpose of a matrix. Let's understand it in this way. So if I have a matrix of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means I have a matrix which has 3 rows and 2 columns. That means we have 1, 2, 3 rows and 1 and 2 columns. Okay. Now transpose means that these 3 rows will get converted into 2 rows and these three 2 columns will get converted into 3 columns. So what will happen over here? We will get 1, 2, 3. That means this whole column will get converted into a row. And another row would be 4, 5 and 6. This is how the new matrix will be obtained. This will be the transpose of this matrix that the rows will get converted into columns and the columns will get converted into rows. Now how to obtain this in Python? Let's see how it can be done. For that, first of all, I will create a matrix over here that A is equals to in the format of list, I'll be adding the numbers. So I'll be writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. This is my matrix. Now we have two rows over here and three columns, right? And I will create a result. Inside the result, we'll be having two columns and three rows. So I'll be writing 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this will be my result matrix. Now what do I need to do? I need to iterate inside the rows and then inside the columns. So iterate inside the rows, I'll be writing for i in range. And the range would be 0, 0 and 0. That means if we are talking about this row over here, so range would be 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1, 1. Right. So for that, I will be writing len of a. If I just print len of a, we will get the output 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1, 1. We don't have to print a. Actually, we have to print i. So if I will run it, we will get the output 0 and 1 over here. Similarly, if I go inside j, so for j in range, len of a, but this time I need to go inside the columns. Previously I was going inside the rows. Now I need to go inside the column. For column I will be writing 0 over here. So I will be iterating inside the column. Let's print j and see what output we will get. As soon as I print j over here, I will get the output 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. This is how our columns are going while our rows are going as 0 and 1. That means 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1, 1. So if I print i instead of this, I will get the output 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1, 1. That means we are iterating in what? And we are iterating in both rows and columns. Now rows and columns needs to get converted into columns and rows over here. For that I will be writing result. Now inside the result because we want j first. That means because we want columns first. We will be writing j. And then we will write i. So j is holding our column. That's why we will be writing j first. And then i will be equal to a i j. So basically what I have written over here is very simple that I have written result columns rows is equal to our matrix A's rows and columns. That means the rows will get converted into columns and the columns will get converted into rows. So now let's run and see what output we will get. So if I print result and run it. So I will get the output in this way. I have 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6 but it does not look like a transpose of this matrix, right? So how to make it a transpose of this matrix? I, all I need to do is I need to put a for loop over here. So I will be writing for i in result colon print result. No, I don't have to print the result. I have to print i. And as soon as I run it, I will get the output 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6. That is our matrix over here which has three rows and two columns. Initially we had two rows and three columns and now this has been converted into two columns and three rows. This is how we obtain a transpose of any matrix. So guys this was our solution number one where we used for loop. So I will be writing solution one 
using for loop. Now we'll be talking about solution two of this problem. We can do this problem with one more method. Let's write that. So I'll be writing solution two using list comprehension. So here again, I'll pick up this example and I'll paste it over here. Now list comprehension. Inside the list comprehension, I'll be creating a variable called as result. So for the result, we'll be writing inside the square bracket. First of all, we'll be printing the result that what our result is going to be. So I'll be taking the same matrix which whose transpose we need to find. So in, in the same matrix only, I'll be making the changes over here. So a, a of, that means first of all, we need to convert the rows into the columns. Then we need to convert the columns into the rows. After that, I'll be taking a for loop that for j in range, first we'll be going inside the columns. So ln of a and our second loop will be for i in range and then we'll be going inside the columns so ln of a and because we are going inside the columns in the square bracket i'll be passing zero over here lastly i'll be using a for loop to iterate the result or we can just print first of all result and let's see what output we will get so as soon as i ran it i again get the output in the form of a list over here that is one four two five three six to iterate it all we need to do is we need to write for i in result print i and let's run it and also let's put our previous code inside the comments so as soon as i run it i'll get the output one four two five three six and our matrix was one two three four five six so you can see over here that the rows have been converted into the columns and the columns have been converted into the rows this is how we find the transpose of a matrix so I hope guys that both the methods over here are clear to you. In the first method we use a nested for loop and in the second method we have used a list comprehension inside which we have first written down the output and what output we want. And then we have iterated for j in range that means first of all we have converted the columns then we have converted the rows over here. So in the inner loop we have the rows and in the outer loop we have the columns. So I hope you guys have no doubts in the questions and for more such interesting programs stay connected guys. Thank you.